Hi, I'm Hannah Trigwell. Learning an instrument has many, many benefits. It teaches you perseverance, discipline, responsibility, and can lead to a great sense of accomplishment. It's also known to reduce stress, increase productivity, and generally just be a lot of fun. There are a few things to think about before you start learning an instrument. Number one, think about your musical preference. If you're into rock, it might make sense to start learning electric guitar. If you're into jazz, it might make sense to start learning sax. I know that they are real stereotypes, but you've got to think about what's going to be the best experience for you. I always say it's easier to do something if it's fun. So think about what looks like it could be fun for you and give that a go. Number two, determine your budget. Musical instruments can be expensive, but high price tag doesn't always guarantee good results, especially if it's your first instrument. I've played guitars that are 50 pounds and I've played guitars that are 5,000 pounds. And it's just not the case that the most expensive one will be the best one for you. You need to determine what the best guitar is for you. And that is in terms of the shape of the guitar, the sound of the guitar, the feel of the guitar in your hands. So try going into a music store and trying out a few different varieties. And if you buy in second hand, you just need to have a really good look at the guitar, make sure it's clean and make sure there are no faults before you buy it. Number three, think about whether you have the space or not for this instrument. I could not fit a drum kit in here. It wouldn't make sense and it'd be way too loud. I've got my guitars here on a rack. If I was super pressed for space, I could put them on wall mounts. You just need to think about where you're gonna be practicing most of the time and how you're gonna store that instrument in a way that's good for you, but also safe for the instrument. There are many hacks that can help you make the most of your space, such as wall hangers for guitars or racks for keyboards. Number four, noise implications. If you're worried that noise is gonna be an issue, consider investing in the electric version of the instrument that you're looking to buy in. So for drums example, electric drums, electric guitars, electric keyboards instead of a, an acoustic piano. If you can plug your headphones directly into that instrument and just be able to hear the sound and have a proper full-on jam without being self-conscious about any potential noise complaints, then that's a good option. Number five, make sure that the instrument that you're playing is the right size for you. If you play an instrument that's too large, you might feel like you're forcing yourself to stretch and strain. So if you've got a smaller body, for example, consider trying a travel size guitar or a smaller keyboard just to begin with. The main takeaway from all of these points is just that it's really personal. It's about what fits you best and what makes your experience the best it can be. That's the thing that's gonna enable you to practice for longer and persevere in learning this new instrument. So you've got your new instrument, now you need to learn to play it. Thanks to the internet, teaching yourself how to play a new instrument is easier than ever. It's a cheaper alternative to lessons that can work around your busy schedule. It's also a great way to develop your own musical style. There are various resources out there that can help you with learning a new instrument, such as video tutorials. YouTube has thousands of music lessons available for free from instrument specific lessons to music theory tips and tricks. If you play guitar and bass, then Tommen's Guitars and Basses channel is a great option for this. Apps like Ultimate Guitar, Simply Piano, many, many more. Books and eBooks, gadgets and gear like Lumi Keys, CDs and podcasts, attending a local workshop or joining a local music club, getting music lessons from professional players and attending music schools. So check out your local music schools and colleges or if you need a remote option that's gonna fit around a busy schedule, check out online schools like music to me I'll put a link below so you can check it out. Whether you choose to teach yourself or get music lessons, learning an instrument takes self-discipline and practice. So here are some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your practices. Be patient with yourself. Don't give up. Keep practicing. It's the only way to truly develop a skill is to keep practicing. Watch and listen to other musicians, preferably musicians that you like. We need to keep this a fun experience for you. And watch and listen to yourself so that you can see if you're picking up any bad habits. Experiment. Try different notes. Try different styles. Have fun with it, it's supposed to be fun. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone does it and it's all part of the learning experience. Use a metronome to help you play in time and don't be afraid to show people what you've learned. Showing people what you've learned opens you up to constructive criticism. And if you really want to get better at something, you need to be open to that feedback. And it might hurt, people might say, you suck. And if they say, you suck, then say, what do I suck at? Specifically, what, what part of this do I suck at? Is it the way that I'm playing? Is it the notes that I'm playing? Like, what is it? Because if someone can give you constructive criticism, 
That is honestly one of the best things when it comes to getting better and better. If you can get someone to tell you what you could be better at from an outsider's opinion, it can be really useful and it can help you improve much faster. Especially if that constructive criticism is coming from someone who also plays the instrument. I hope this video has encouraged you to learn to play an instrument. I'm really, really grateful to my younger self for putting in the hours learning how to play guitar. And it was super hard at first and it hurt my fingers, but then my fingers got harder and I pursued playing guitar and it became a kind of foundation for my career and has given me a lot of opportunities in terms of recording and touring, but also allowed me to have this like magical thing where I can pick up my guitar and have a moment of mindfulness. It's almost like a therapy for me. It still doesn't feel like a job for me to play guitar. I love it so much. I love being able to have the skill of playing it, but also just being able to have the endless experience of playing guitar because you're making this beautiful sound and you can kind of get lost in your own thoughts. It doesn't need to always be about producing a song at the end of the day. It can just be about having fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment below with the instrument that you are learning or planning to learn. How are you planning to learn it? Let me know and I will see you next time. <laughs>